Hey everyone, welcome back to another A New World video. Now in today's video, I do want to go over uh, some XP information. Now there's a lot of really, really good ways of going ahead and getting some XP. Some of the obvious ones are going to be completing your main story, doing a lot of the side quests that you possibly can, uh, just going to each of the videos, finding out whoever you can actually go ahead and speak with, and then doing them, and then completing any of the different locations for your faction missions are a great way of going ahead and getting a good amount of XP. Now, um, because you are a little bit lower rank, I'm a level one. I'm trying to get to level two. I can't participate in the quest to become a level two until I become a level 25. So I do have to wait for that to happen. But you get a little bit lower the XP, 590 for some of these, but up here, you know, 5,000 for that expedition, 1,000 there, 850 for doing a couple different things. But I do want to talk about something that not a lot of people are talking about, or at least not that I have necessarily have seen, and that is the job board at each of the individual towns. Now, just like the faction quest, each of these are going to be different in each of these different towns. Now, they do change up quite often as you can see they refresh at currently at about 22 minutes they change every half an hour which is pretty good so if you guys don't necessarily like these then you can always go ahead and wait now again each of the cities i'm currently in windsward they will change all the time like i just had firm fish fillets and they have a stream that runs right through the town you could actually go ahead and request that one and then go ahead and complete it whenever you guys want to do a little bit of fishing now some of the stuff you can actually go ahead and purchase at the trading post i don't really recommend doing that for a lot of them because it's going to cost you a little bit of money over the grand scheme of things because you're not going to get as much money that you put into it as you're going to get out of it so i would not do that however if you have a ton of these extra things in your inventory like the mana potion or maybe you just have a ton of steel ingots and you don't really know what to do with them or even iron ingots this is a great way of getting a little bit of uh, experience points if you guys don't necessarily want to sell them on the market and you want to trade them in to get the xp instead so maybe you don't need the gold maybe you have 5,000 gold like i do and you're not really sure what to spend it on anymore yes there's a lot of things that i can go ahead and purchase at the trading post but i haven't necessarily but i've sold a lot at the trading post as well that's one of the reasons that i've gotten so much gold is because i'm getting rid of the things that i'm not currently using like armor and weapons and things like that but go ahead and complete these these are a great opportunity um if you guys want to go ahead and participate in them uh, then the, there's exploring ones and i really haven't done any of those because i feel like those are just more quests and they don't pay out as much of the XP. But if we donate 25 silver ingots, which can seem like a lot, especially early game, but once you start advancing a little bit more and you get more exploring and you find some really good um, veins of different materials and resources to go ahead and craft these, and you actually are high enough level to go ahead and craft the steel, it doesn't actually take that long to go ahead and do that. But there we go. So we can acquire five Nightcrawler bait if we want to do some digging up with some flint or digging in some bushes if you want to or whatever it might be these are a great opportunity i highly recommend that you guys go ahead and do these as much as you possibly can but like i said don't pay them at the trading post all the time and if you aren't really happy with these you can either wait or you can go ahead and go to another city now i wouldn't necessarily do these on their own but if there's something that you guys are just knowing that you're going to be able to participate in relatively easy then just go ahead and go ahead and grab, grab them. But however, you do have to click on one prior to actually doing anything. So I'll just kind of show you an example. So if I'll just go ahead and acquire five Nightcrawler bait. You do have to like start it and then you do have to complete it. And there you go. I had the five Nightcrawler bait on me. So that actually worked out relatively easy. And that's all you have to do for these job projects or job bulletin boards in each of the cities hopefully this does help you guys out and if it does make sure that you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming